Hello everybody, it's me Laura again, and today I'd like to warmly welcome you to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! deck unboxing. So in this video today, I will be unboxing the Albaz Strike Structure Deck. So this Structure Deck was kindly gifted to me by a viewer on throne. Thank you very much for the structure deck. So this particular structure deck includes 38 common cards, 3 super rare cards, 5 ultra rare cards, 5 special token cards, and 1 double-sided deluxe game mat slash dueling guide. So, feel free to sit back and relax as I go through each of the cards in the Elba Strike Structure Deck. If you're wondering, by the way, why the box is already open, it's because I recorded this video yesterday and the entire footage was completely out of focus. So, I am going through the cards again for you today just to make sure that you can see them, that would help. And now on to the unboxing. The first card in the Alpaz Strike Structure Deck is Tri Brigade Mercuria. This is a dark type and a level 4. Winged Beast with the effect, when your opponent activates a monster effect, while you control a fusion monster that mentions Fallen of Albus as material. Quick effect. You can send this card from your hand or face up field to the graveyard. Negate that effect. If this card is banished, you can add from your deck to your hand one Fallen of Albus or one monster that mentions it, except Tri Brigade Mercuria. You can only use each effect of Tri Brigade Mercuria once per turn. This card has an attack of 800 and a defense of 0. The next card is Springen's Kit. This is a dark type and a level 4. Beast with the effect. If you have a fusion monster, that mentions Fallen of Albus as material on your field or in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add to your hand one of your branded spells or traps that is banished or in your deck or graveyard. Then place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. You can only use each effect of Springen's kit once per turn. This card has an attack of 1,700 and a defense of 1,000. The next card is the Golden Sword Soul. This is a light type and a level 4. Spellcaster, Tuna, with the effect. When a monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, negate that attack. Then, if you control a fusion monster that mentions Fallen of Albaz as material, you can destroy the monster that declared that attack. If a monster is banished face up, except during the damage step, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard. Special summon one light spellcaster monster from your hand or graveyard, whose attack equals its own defense. You can only use this effect of the Golden Sword Soul once per turn. This card has an attack of 1,800 and a defense of 1,500. The next card is Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. This is a dark type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Worm, Fusion, with the effect, Fallen of Albaz plus 1 Fusion, Synchro, XYZ, or Link Monster. 
you can only control one mirror jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. Once per turn, quick effect. You can send one fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard that mentions Fallen of Elbaz as material. Banish one monster on the field. Also, this card cannot use this effect next turn. If this fusion summoned card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls during the end phase of this turn. This card has an attack of 3000 and a defense of 2500. The next card is Lubellion the Searing Dragon. This is a light type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dragon, fusion, with the effect, one dark monster plus fallen of Albas. If this card is fusion summoned, you can discard one card. Fusion summon one level 8 or lower fusion monster from your extra deck, except Lubellion the Searing Dragon. By shuffling fusion materials mentioned on it into the deck from your opponents on the field, graveyard, and or face up banished cards. For the rest of this turn, this card cannot attack. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck, except fusion monsters. You can only use this effect of Lubellion, the Searing Dragon, once per turn. This card has an attack of 2500 and a defense of. 3000. The next card is Branded Fusion. This is a spell card. Fusion summon one fusion monster that mentions Fallen of Albaz as material from your extra deck. Using two monsters from your hand, deck, or field as fusion material, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck, except fusion monsters, the turn you activate this card. You can only activate one branded fusion per turn. The next card is Branded Sword. This is a trap card. Banish any number of branded spells or traps from your graveyard. Special summon that many Ice Blade tokens, Dragon, Dark, Level 8, Attack 2500, Defense 2000. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one of your banished monsters that has fallen of Albaz or mentions it. Add that monster to your hand. You can only use one branded sword effect per turn, and only once that turn. The next card is Branded Retribution. This is a trap card. When a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster or monsters, return to the extra deck one face-up fusion monster you control, or two fusion monsters in your graveyard that mention Fallen of Albaz as material, and if you do, negate the activation, and if you do that, destroy that card. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one branded spell or trap in your graveyard, Accept Branded Retribution. Add it to your hand. You can only use one Branded Retribution effect per turn, and only once that turn. The next card is Fallen of Albaz. This is a dark type and a level 4. Dragon with the effect. If this card is normal special summoned except during the damage step, you can discard one card. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters on either field as fusion material, including this card. But you cannot use other monsters you control as fusion material. You can only use this effect of Fallen of Albaz once per turn. This card has an attack of 1800 and a defense of 0. The next card is Albion, the Shrouded Dragon. This is a dark type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dragon, with the effect, this card's name becomes Fallen of Albaz while on the field or in the graveyard. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, 
you can send one fawn of Elbaz or one branded spell or trap from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Apply the following effect based on where you sent it from. Hand, special summon this card. Deck, place this card on the bottom of the deck. Then, if you place this card from your hand, draw one card. You can only use this effect of Albion, the Shrouded Dragon, once per turn. This card has an attack of 2,500 and a defense of 2,000. The next card is Dogmatica Fleurdelis the Knighted. This is a light type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Spellcaster with the effect. During the main phase, if a monster special summoned from the extra deck is on the field, quick effect. You can special summon this card from your hand. Then, if you control another Dogmatica monster, you can negate the effects of one face up monster on the field until the end of this turn. When your Dogmatica monster declares an attack, you can make all Dogmatica monsters you currently control gain 500 attack. You can only use each effect of Dogmatica Flirtellus the Knighted once per turn. This card has an attack of 2500 and a defense of 2500. The next card is Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. This is a dark type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Dragon, with the effect, you can special summon this card from your hand by banishing one face-up dragon monster you control. You can only special summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon once per turn this way. During your main phase, you can special summon one dragon monster from your hand or graveyard, except Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. You can only use this effect of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon once per turn. This card has an attack of 2,800 and a defense of 2,400. The next card is Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju. This is a light type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Thunder, with the effect, you can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's field in attack position by tributing one monster they control. If your opponent controls a kaiju monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in attack position. You can only control one kaiju monster. Once per turn, you can remove three kaiju counters from anywhere on the field. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects for the rest of this turn. Also, this card can make up to three attacks on monsters during each battle phase this turn. This card has an attack of 3,300 and a defense of 2,100. The next card is Chaos Dragon Leviania. This is a dark type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dragon, with the effect, cannot be normal summoned or set, and must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing three light and or dark monsters from your graveyard. When summoned this way, you can activate this effect. Apply the following effect based on the attribute or attributes of the monster's bait banished for the special summon. Also, this card cannot attack for the rest of this turn. Only light. Special summon one monster from your graveyard in defense position. Only dark. Shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand into the deck. Both light and dark. Destroy up to two cards on the field. You can only use this effect of Chaos Dragon Leviania once per turn. This card has an attack of 3000 and a defense of 0. The next card is Radian the Multidimensional Kaiju. This is a dark type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Fiend, with the effect. You can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's field in attack position, 
by tributing one monster they control. If your opponent controls a kaiju monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in attack position. You can only control one kaiju monster. Once per turn, you can remove two kaiju counters from anywhere on the field. Special summon one radiant token. Fiend, Dark, level 7, attack 2800, defense 0. But it cannot be used as synchro material. This card has an attack of 2800 and a defense of 2500. The next card is Artifact Scythe. This is a light type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fairy, with the effect, you can set this card from your hand to your spell and trap zone as a spell. During your opponent's turn, if this set card in the spell and trap zone is destroyed and sent to your graveyard, special summon it. If this card is special summoned during your opponent's turn, your opponent cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. This card has an attack of 2200 and a defense of 900. The next card is White Dragon Wyver Burster. This is a light type and a level 4. Dragon with the effect cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned from your hand by banishing one dark monster from your graveyard. You can only special summon white dragon wyver burster once per turn this way. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one black dragon collapse serpent from your deck to your hand. This card has an attack of 1700 and a defense of 1800. The next card is Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. This is a dark type and a level 4. Dragon, with the effect, cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by banishing one light monster from your graveyard. You can only special summon Black Dragon Collapse Serpent once per turn this way. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one White Dragon Wyver Burster from your deck to your hand. This card has an attack of 1,800 and a defense of 1,700. The next card is Star Liege Seafoot. This is a light type and a level 4. Dragon, with the effect, you can send any number of dragon monsters from your hand and or face up field to the graveyard. Add one dragon monster from your deck to your hand, whose level equals the total original levels of those monsters sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one level 8 light or dark dragon monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. You can only use each effect of Star Liege Seafoot once per turn. This card has an attack of 1,800 and a defense of 0. The next card is Keeper of Dragon Magic. This is a dark type and a level 4. Dragon, with the effect, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can discard one card. Add one polarization normal spell or fusion normal spell from your deck to your hand. You can reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck. Special summon one of the fusion materials mentioned on that monster from your graveyard in face down defense position. You can only use each effect of Keeper of Dragon Magic once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters the turn you activate either of this card's effects. This card has an attack of 1,800 and a defense of 1,300. The next card is Summon a Monk. This is a dark type and a level 4. Spellcaster, with the effect, while this card is face up on the field, 
it cannot be tributed. If this card is normal or flip summoned, change this card to defense position. Once per turn, you can discard one spell. Special summon one level 4 monster from your deck, but that monster cannot attack this turn. This card has an attack of 800 and a defense of 1600. The next card is Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. This is a light type and level 3. Psychic, Tuna, with the effect. When a monster on the field activates its effect, or when a spell or trap that is already face up on the field activates its effect, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Destroy that card on the field. You can only use this effect of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit once per turn. This card has an attack of zero and a defense of 1,800. The next card is Effect Veiler. This is a light type and level 1. Spellcaster, Tuna, with the effect. During your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Then target one effect monster your opponent controls. Negate the effects of that face-up monster your opponent controls until the end of this turn. This card has an attack of zero, and a defense of zero. The next card is Omni Dragon Brotor. This is a dark type and a level one. Dragon, with the effect, if a monster you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card from the graveyard. If it was there when the monster was destroyed, or hand, even if not, but banish it when it leaves the field. If this card is special summoned, you can target one face-up monster on the field. Discard one card, and if you do, add one monster from your deck to your hand, with the same type and attribute as that target, but a different name. You can only use each effect of Omni Dragon Brotor once per turn. This card has an attack of zero, and a defense of zero. The next card is Branded Lost. This is a spell card. The activation of your cards and effects that include an effect that fusion summons a fusion monster cannot be negated. Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when a monster is fusion summoned this way. If you fusion summon a fusion monster, you can add one Fallen of Albaz or one monster that mentions it from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Branded Lost once per turn. The next card is Branded in White. This is a spell card. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as material, including a dragon monster. You can also banish monsters from your graveyard as material. If you use Fallen of Albaz as fusion material from your hand, field, or by banishing itself from your graveyard. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there to activate the effect of Fallen of Albaz, this turn, you can set this card. You can only use each effect of Branded in White once per turn. The next card is Branded Bond. This is a spell card. Special summoned one of your Fallen of Albaz that is banished in your hand or in your graveyard. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there to activate the effect of Fallen of Albaz this turn, you can set this card. You can only use each effect of Branded Bond once per turn. The next card is Fusion Gate. This is a spell card. During the main phase, the turn player can fusion summon one fusion monster from their extra deck by banishing fusion materials mentioned on it from their hand or field. The 
The next card is Fusion Recycling Plant. This is a spell card. Once per turn, you can discard one card, add one polymerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can target one monster in your graveyard that was used as fusion material for a fusion summon this turn. Add it to your hand. The next card is Fusion Substitute. This is a spell card. This card is always treated as polymerization. Fusion Summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control as fusion material. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one fusion monster in your graveyard, return it to the extra deck, then draw one card. The next card is Gold Sarcophagus. This is a spell card. Banish one card from your deck, face up. During your second standby phase after this card's activation, add that card to the hand. The next card is Pot of Extravagance. This is a spell card. At the start of your main phase one, Banish three or six random face down cards from your extra deck, face down. Draw one card for every three cards banished. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot draw any cards by card effects. The next card is called by the grave. This is a spell card. Target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Banish it. And if you do, until the end of the next turn, its effects are negated, as well as the activated effects and effects on the field of monsters with the same original name. The next card is Dark Ruler No More. This is a spell card. Negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of this turn. Also, for the rest of this turn after this effect resolves, your opponent takes no damage. Neither player can activate monster effects in response to this card's activation. The next card is Screams of the Branded. This is a trap card. If a fusion monster was sent to your graveyard this turn, special summon one of your fusion monsters that is banished or in your graveyard. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there to activate the effect of Fallen of Albaz this turn, you can set this card. You can only use this effect of Screams of the Branded once per turn. The next card is Judgment of the Branded. This is a trap card. Target one level 8 or higher fusion monster you control. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls with an equal or higher attack than that monster. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there to activate the effect of Lord of Albaz this turn, you can set this card. You can only use this effect of Judgment of the Branded once per turn. The next card is Necrofusion. This is a trap card. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials mentioned on it from your graveyard face down, but it cannot attack this turn. The next card is back to the front. This is a trap card. Target one monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position. The next card is Warning Point. This is a trap card. When a monster or monsters is summoned, this turn, that face-up monster or monsters cannot attack. Its effects are negated. Also, it cannot be used as material for a fusion, synchro, XYZ, or link summon. The next card is There Can Be Only One. This is a trap card. Each player can only control one monster of each type. 
If a player controls two or more monsters of the same type, they must send some to the graveyard so they control no more than one monster of that type. The next card is Dimensional Barrier. This is a trap card. Declare one monster card type, Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, XYZ, or Pendulum for the rest of this turn. Neither player can special summon monsters of the declared type. Also, negate the effects of all monsters of that type while they are on the field. You can only activate one Dimensional Barrier per turn. The next card is Waking the Dragon. This is a trap card. If this set card in its owner's control has left the field because of an opponent's effect and is now in the graveyard or banished, you can special summon one monster from your deck or extra deck. The next card is Titanoclad the Ash Dragon. This is a dark type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dragon fusion with the effect Fallen of Albas plus one monster with 2,500 or more attack. Gains attack equal to the combined original levels of the monsters used for its fusion summon times 100. After this card is fusion summoned for the rest of this turn, it is unaffected by the activated effects of any other monster special summoned from the extra deck. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or special summon one Dogmatica monster or one Fallen of Albas from your deck. You can only use this effect of Titanoclad the Ash Dragon once per turn. This card has an attack of 2,500 and a defense of 2,000. The next card is Brygrind the Glory Dragon. This is a dark type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Beast, fusion, with the effect, Fallen of Albas plus 1 level 8 or higher monster. Cannot be destroyed by battle. While you control this fusion summoned card, your opponent cannot target other monsters you control with monster effects. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or special summon one Tri Brigade monster or one Fallen of Albas from your deck. You can only use this effect of Brygrind the Glory Dragon once per turn. This card has an attack of 2,500 and a defense of 2,000. The next card is Sprint the Iron Dash Dragon. This is a dark type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Machine, Fusion, with the effect, Fallen of Albas plus one effect, Monster Special Summoned this turn. During your main phase, you can move this card you control to another of your main monster zones. Then you can destroy all other face-up cards in this card's column. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or special summon one Springens monster or one Fallen of Albas from your deck. You can only use each effect of Sprint the Iron Dash Dragon once per turn. This card has an attack of 2,500 and a defense of 2,000. The next card is Albion the Branded Dragon. This is a dark type and a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dragon, Fusion, with the effect, Forward of Albas plus 1 Light Monster. If this card is fusion summoned, you can fusion summon one level 8 or lower fusion monster from your extra deck, except Albion the Branded Dragon, by banishing fusion materials mentioned on it from your hand, field, and or graveyard. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand 
or set one branded spell or trap directly from your deck. You can only use each effect of Elpian, the branded dragon, once per turn. This card has an attack of 2,500 and a defense of 2,000. The next card is Elbaz the Shrouded. This card can be used as any token or counter. Does his name refer to a past buried in darkness or to a bright future? The next card is Ecclesia the Exiled. This card can be used as any token or counter. A pure white heart to be filled with many memories. With thoughts of coming days in mind, the girl gifts a name to the boy. The next card is Tri Brigade. This card can be used as any token or counter. Ready? Aim. The next card is the Virtuous Vestals. This card can be used as any token or counter. Sometimes like a kind sister, sometimes like a strict teacher, the bond is always there, even while far apart. And the last card in the Alba Strike structure deck is Aluba the Dogmatic. This card can be used as any token or counter. A thing separated from the abyss, it mocked the light and deceived the darkness. So that is all of the cards in the Alba Strike structure deck. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Take care everybody. Goodbye.